so we got a carbon fiber engine cover for this beast so whatever let's get it done we pull the frame everything should be cheeky peeky in spec <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. In this episode, we're going to continue working on the 2018 BMW M4 and in the previous episode, we actually got the whole thing painted and it's looking perfect and I'm very happy about it. If you guys have not seen that episode, be sure to go back and check that one out. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and assemble it. We got a lot of assembly work. First things first, that front bumper is not simple. It's got cameras, it's got sensors, it's got grills, and it's got everything. Everything goes inside this bumper. It's completely naked. Um, what else needs to be assembled? We got a lot of work, man. We got a fender liner, all this stuff. We got to set gaps on the headlights, set gaps on the hood. It was damaged right over here. Put all these fender vents in, uh, put together the rear bumper, put together this front molly top piece over here. I'm actually going to go ahead and pop that in first things first because it's just kind of laying around and I don't want it to get damaged. We do have a front lip and stuff like that for the car. Many more mods to come, so stay tuned for the further episodes on this build. But if you guys are new to this channel, Lightly tap the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at BYBTim. And let's get into putting this beast together. First thing we're gonna start off on is building that front bumper. And actually before that, I'm gonna pop this sucker in. So I'm gonna pop that in. We're gonna go ahead and work on that front bumper. We got some sick grills for that front bumper. And I actually wanna show you guys them right now. Where are the grills? So look at these. Look at these sick grills. You ready for it? You ready, you ready? So we got a black M4 badge, and then we got this right over here. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get a round of applause. Drum roll. But look at that. Oh yes. Oh yes. What are we saying? These things are super sick. It's gonna match very nice with our mirror caps, our roof, rear diffuser, side skirts, front lip. We're gonna have a lot of carbon goodies in this thing, man. It's gonna look really good. White on carbon with some hidden wheels, which will be revealed very soon. It's gonna look very good. Let's get into it.
you guys just look at this front bumper. Woo-wee, this bumper looks super sick. We're not done yet, we do have a carbon lift that's gonna go onto here, so it's gonna complete this carbon here, this carbon here, and then, uh, what else do we have carbon on the front? Hmm, I actually don't know. Besides this brace over here, because before we put the hood vent in, you can kind of see this brace through the hood vent, so it was kind of cool, but I think now that the um, little grill, hood grill is in, you can't really see this, but we're ready for the bumper. I went ahead and adjusted these headlights. Both the gaps are even. It's kind of funny to adjust these gaps because you have to leave a little, like a pretty decently big gap over here, because if you don't, then the underside of the bumper will have a little hole, like through the bumper over here and the headlight. So, I mean, sorry, the underside of the headlight and the underside of or the top side over here by the bumper it's weird it's weird to explain but i'll show you guys once the bumper is on the vehicle sensors everything in the cameras are all installed so let's go ahead and put this bumper onto the car and we can start assembling the rear end of this car i do have to set the gaps to the hood it's one complicated gap and it's really annoying because this stuff goes up and down but it's whatever let's get it done we pull the frame everything should be cheeky peeky and spec take a look at this we've been working hard got this front bumper on and got all the gaps aligned it was way harder than I thought uh, because of the aftermarket aluminum hood it just it's not OEM and which which means that it's just it's gonna be tough to fit and that's 100% especially with all the curvatures of the fender the way that the gap lays with the hood over here but I'll show you guys the gap just in one second I wanted to show you guys another little mod we just picked up too so we got a carbon fiber engine cover for this beast it's gonna go on right over here and it's gonna match a lot of things just in general the carbon fiber grills you know this carbon fiber brace over here and then we're gonna have a front lip I told you guys a little bit earlier let's go ahead and pop this off just before we close the hood pop this sucker off okay then we got to transfer over these gummies over here onto this one because it's missing them and then we're gonna pop it right back on and see. Actually, look at this. Let's see what it looks like, just how it is. Damn, son. Got all the gummies in now. Let's go ahead and pop this on. That one fit. There you guys have it. I think we're gonna put a little M sticker or something here because it's a little bit plain but the engine bay is super dirty so you can't really tell what the heck is going on. Let me show you guys the gap over here. So look, boom. That was not easy. This right here was not easy to set and it is not 100% perfect. We're gonna go ahead and do some final touches once the car comes off the frame machine. That way we see it at eye level how everyone sees the car. That way we can make it perfect and there's gonna be no funny kind of gaps or any illusions or anything like that. But it is almost almost perfect it is very close there's it's so hard man this adjusts down up it adjusts in out it adjusts like this you can kind of twist it you can make the gap big here and small on the sides and then this has to line up flush with the hood and the fender as well gaps on both ends have to be kind of even i mean not kind of that's perfectly even but what i'm trying to say is that the gap over here is very small and then it gets bigger and then to like flat it's weird it's a weird type of deal over here but we got it done I'm very happy about that. Tomorrow what we're gonna do is go ahead and work on the rear bumper, basically get together the whole entire rear bumper. It's missing um, sensors and all that stuff. Rear diffuser, we got a carbon diffuser for it as well. So, catch you guys tomorrow. You know what guys, I actually changed my mind. Might as well just get the bumper done and over with tonight, that way we can sleep in a little bit tomorrow. So, let's go ahead and pull it off and basically assemble it. There's nothing much to it, just some sensors, rear diffuser, and it's just about it. Throw it back onto the car.
that's really all there is to this rear bumper. Let's go ahead and toss it back onto the car. Well, that's it for the rear bumper. Very easy, very straightforward, and happy I got it done rather than leaving it out for tomorrow. Now, I'll catch you guys next time we're working on it. We're gonna continue working on it. We gotta probably put some fender liners on, but I'm gonna wait for some better weather and some light outside, because it's literally pitch black. Look at that. Oh, I can't see anything. Peace out. All right, guys, it is the next day here, and we got the whole front end assembled. We got a couple of minor things to do, is put on the fender liners, and technically, we're done with the assembly part. We do have a lot of carbon fiber stuff, like the lip. We got some wheels that we kind of sneak peek throughout the video, so maybe you guys know what they are, maybe you guys don't, but we're gonna lower the car on those wheels. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. In the next episode, we're gonna show you guys all of that. Let's go ahead and put the fender liners on and take the car outside, give it a good look, and I'll catch you guys then. All right, guys, well, we're at the very end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but before we finish this episode off, let me show you guys how the car turned out and what it's looking like right now before we start putting on our mods. So, that is the wheels over there. Those, that's what it looks like on stock high, so it's kind of funny looking. Just trust the process and wait till we lower it. Wait till we get the front lip on, the side skirts, and all the good stuff that we have for the car. So this front end is extremely gorgeous. Got the facelift. 2018 headlights with that CS style hood. It just came together absolutely stunning and I know the camera cannot capture all of the uh, carves and all the little shapes and all the you know edges of the hood but in real person eyes it just looks amazing. We painted the inside over there blue matched the calipers matched the, uh, the front badge over here kind of pieced together really nice and clean. I really like it. Let's go ahead and step on this side here and take a look at this whole side of the car. Got the fender liners on everything's basically done all gaps are set car drives amazing so color actually came together really nice and the car is a bit dirty since we didn't paint the door it still looks fine it looks perfectly fine you'll never ever tell and even if the camera does pick up anything it's not visible in person front cameras work front sensors work uh, the 360 cam works on the car everything's just i don't know 
no problems, no check engine lights, nothing like that. Uh, we had the traction control off when we were cruising here, so if you guys saw that, that was the only thing that was off, and that's because we turned it off because we're gonna do some donuts right now. What is a BYB video without some donuts, right? This is the rear end over here. We went ahead and put that BYB 1M plate just on for fun. We do have a temporary trip permit, so don't worry about that. We do have an exhaust for the car. It's gonna look much better in the back, but that's kind of what we've got so far. Let's go ahead and do some donuts and wrap up this episode. As you guys saw over there, the car checks out. We got our BYB donuts in. We are happy and everything's, the car's feeling good. I'm very happy about it. Um, besides that, I guess in the next episode, we're gonna start seeing mods and lowering the car, getting it to that aesthetic look that we always try to get our cars to. Everything here is basically lowered and it's got that OEM++ look to it, but that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed those little last, uh, little cinematic shots and that drifting. We had a lot of fun, but that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and lightly tap that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button. That actually goes a long way. So press that like button if you enjoyed this video. With all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.